Hello everyone, the video you're about to see was filmed just over six months ago. This is with my FX Impact. I just received my 25 uh, 700mm Superior Heavy Liner. I just wanted to test it with some slugs. Uh, there was no precision tuning with it. All I used was a pellet slug probe. I just put the reg pressure up to, I think it was about 140 bar, and I didn't touch anything else. No fine tuning no anything nothing precision it was just put the reg up and fire and this is the results trying something a little bit different today wasn't planning on filming this but I've been quite surprised by the results and I've only fired one type of slug yet FX impact mark 2 with now the superior heavy liner and the pellet slug probe. I put those two in and just bump the reg pressure up. Just going to do a quick uh, slug test because I've got quite a few different types of slugs hybrids, wildmans, a few different types of NSAs, and got a couple boxes of uh, the new Zan slugs. Um, just out 40 yards, do a few group tests, if they, if they group okay at 40 yards then I'm going to take them back out to uh, 100 yards and test them then. A little bit windy, not ideal but I just wanted to test. And seeing as I've only fired the NSA 33.5 grains so far, about 970 feet per second, at 25 yards it was a cloverleaf, uh, I just fired 4 quick shots. Uh, and yeah, I was really surprised because I've never been able to get slugs to group. There was a bit of hype at the beginning, which we all know. Um, they were just trying to sell a product, which I don't think was quite ready. But now it looks as if this is has been refined. And uh, yeah, the Superior Heavy. I haven't fired that many shots. Only around 40, 50 shots so far, but it's looking a bit more promising because I've yet to try all these. So... I'll stick my camera out by the target and you'll get to see what groups are doing at 40 yards and then out to 100. That's the 40 yards done with seven different slugs. I've now taken four, which seems to have got a half decent group at least. So that's going to be the Zan 33 grain, Wildman 34 grain, FX Hybrids at 26 grain, and the NSA 33.5 grain. Now we go out to 100 yards to test these four.
So there you have it. No precise tuning or anything like that. As I said at the beginning of the video, it was just put that reg up and just shoot. And they were the results that I produced out at 40 yards and 100 yards with varying uh, different brands of slugs. Zan slugs work well with 33 grain. Uh, NSA slugs at 33.5 grain. Uh, just to note that the uh, Wildman slugs didn't perform very well on the day. However, the 34 grain, after some tuning, actual proper tuning after the video, started producing the best groups in my rifle. So, if you do get a slug, one which is produced very well, if you just do a bit of precise tuning, it will most likely work. So you're looking at your Wildman slugs, your Zan slugs, your NSAs, FX hybrids, just for the love of God, just don't touch them. They're just massively overpriced. I haven't known, I don't know anyone who has ever had good results with them. Just, it's a marketing play. Please do not buy FX hybrids. Just stick to these types. NSAs, Zans, Wildmans. Give H&N to try, they might work, they might not. Um, i trying to think if there's any, anything else which I've missed. But, but yeah, hopefully you found this uh, video useful. And uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if, uh, how are you getting on? Superior heavy liner, working well. If there's any other slugs that you have been using and you've been getting great success with them, please let everybody know in the comments, because it really does help. Because I haven't tried every brand, I know there's um, pro hunters I haven't tried, there's a uh, slug specialist, so there's some new ones coming through and they might be really good, but untested I can't say. So please let me know about the other brands in the comments.